The Katinga, a land of stark beauty where the sun-baked earth meets a sky almost always blue. Drought-tolerant trees stand sentinel, their branches reaching like skeletal fingers. Amongst the cacti and twisted shrubs, a legend once took flight. The Spix's macaw, a vibrant splash of cobalt blue against the bleached landscape. For centuries, it was an integral part of the Katinga's delicate web of life. But the story of the Spix's macaw is tinged with tragedy, a reminder of humanity's impact. Their story, however, is far from over. It's a testament to the power of hope and the dedication of conservationists. For centuries, the Spix's macaw thrived in the unforgiving beauty of the Katinga. But the 20th century brought with it a new set of challenges. Habitat destruction, driven by the insatiable hunger for timber and farmland, chipped away at their fragile world. The once vast expanse of the Katinga shrunk, pushing the macaws closer to the edge. The illegal pet trade, with its insatiable desire for exotic beauty, dealt another devastating blow. Prized for their rarity and stunning plumage, Spix's macaws were captured and sold into captivity, their wild populations decimated. The whispers of their decline grew louder, a chorus of alarm bells ringing in the ears of those who listened. By the 1980s, the unthinkable had occurred. The last known wild Spix's macaw, a lone male, vanished from the Katinga. Hope, it seemed, had flown away on azure wings. The world mourned the loss of this magnificent creature, another victim of human indifference and greed. But amidst the despair, a flicker of determination ignited. The fight to save the Spix's macaw was far from over. The year 1990 marked a turning point. With the wild population declared extinct, a desperate plan was hatched. Operation Arc. This ambitious initiative, spearheaded by the Brazilian government and a coalition of international conservation organizations, aimed to bring the Spix's macaw back from the brink. The focus shifted to the few remaining birds scattered across the globe, precious survivors held in private collections and zoos. These captive macaws, each one a symbol of hope, became the founders of a new generation. They carried the genetic legacy of their species, a fragile thread connecting the present to the possibility of a brighter future. Breeding programs were established, meticulously managed to maximize genetic diversity and ensure the health of each new generation. Every chick hatched was a victory, a testament to the tireless efforts of scientists, agriculturists and conservationists united by a common goal. The road to recovery was long and arduous, fraught with challenges and setbacks. Yet the spirit of Operation Arc persevered, fueled by a belief in the power of collective action. The year 2002 brought with it an unexpected twist of fate. News broke of a lone Spix's macaw living in the heart of New York City. Presley, as he came to be known, was a symbol of hope, a reminder that even in the most unexpected corners of the world, the echoes of the wild still resonated. Presley's story captured hearts and imaginations worldwide. Here was a bird ripped from his natural habitat, surviving against all odds in the concrete jungle. His very existence underscored the plight of his species and ignited a renewed sense of urgency in conservation efforts. Although Presley never returned to the wilds of Brazil, he played a pivotal role in the Spix's macaws fight for survival. His genes, a vital contribution to the captive breeding program, increased the genetic diversity of the species, offering a lifeline to a population teetering on the brink. Presley's story, a beacon of hope from the heart of the city, served as a powerful reminder that every individual matters in the fight to protect our planet's biodiversity. Despite the successes of Operation Arc and the global spotlight shone on the Spix's macaw, challenges remained. The small number of founding birds in the breeding program led to a genetic bottleneck, a lack of genetic diversity that threatened the long-term health of the species. Scientists and conservationists faced a race against time. Inbreeding, a consequence of limited genetic variation, could lead to a host of problems, from reduced fertility to increased susceptibility to diseases. The very survival of the Spix's macaw hinged on finding solutions to this critical challenge. Innovative genetic techniques emerged as a potential lifeline, offering hope for increasing genetic diversity. 
Researchers delved into the species' DNA, searching for ways to identify and address potential genetic weaknesses. The fight to save the Spix's macaw had become a testament to human ingenuity, a fusion of scientific innovation and unwavering dedication in the face of adversity. The dream of reintroducing the Spix's macaw to its natural habitat remained a guiding star. But before this ambitious goal could be realized, the Katinga, their once and future home, needed restoration. The very landscape that had shaped the species over millennia had been fragmented and degraded. Deforestation, driven by agricultural expansion and unsustainable practices, had left scars on the land. The Kayatinga's delicate balance had been disrupted, its ability to support a thriving population of Spix's macaws compromised. Reversing this damage became paramount, a crucial step in paving the way for the macaw's return. Local communities, once reliant on unsustainable practices, became key partners in the restoration effort. Sustainable farming techniques were introduced, providing alternative livelihoods while promoting the regeneration of native vegetation. Slowly but surely, the Katinga began to heal, its resilience mirroring the spirit of the bird it was destined to welcome home. Decades of tireless work and unwavering dedication culminated in a momentous occasion. In 2022, the seemingly impossible dream became reality. The Spix's macaw, once declared extinct in the wild, took flight in the Kaatinga once more. Eight captive bred birds, carefully selected and meticulously prepared for their new life, were released into a protected reserve. The world watched with bated breath as these ambassadors of hope soared above the Brazilian landscape. Their release, a testament to the transformative power of collaborative conservation, marked a pivotal step in the species' journey back from the brink. The Kartinga, silent for far too long, echoed once more with the calls of these magnificent creatures. The journey, however, is far from over. These pioneer birds face a future fraught with challenges, from adapting to their natural environment to navigating the complexities of a world forever altered by human activity. Their progress is continuously monitored, their behaviors studied, and their successes celebrated as they reclaim their rightful place in the Kaatinga's intricate web of life. The story of the Spix's macaw is more than just a conservation success story. It's a beacon of hope in a world grappling with an unprecedented biodiversity crisis. It highlights the interconnectedness of all living things, reminding us that the fate of a single species is linked to our own. The Spix's macaw reminds us that extinction is not inevitable. It's a choice. Every day we have the power to choose a different path where humanity and nature coexist in harmony. The fight to save the Spix's macaw is a testament to the power of hope, a legacy for life that will inspire generations to come.